Hi everybody, this is Ruby. I'm recording this from Paris, France, where I live. And even though I'm all the way out here, I still wanted to find a way to celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month and share a little bit about my story growing up as an Asian American woman in America. I struggled a lot with self-confidence all throughout my teens and my 20s even, right? But today I want to share with you guys two distinct memories and stories that I feel like really define my experience of growing up Asian American. Um, one of them is when I was a teenager. And I don't know if you guys remember YM Magazine and Seventeen Magazine, but when I was younger I used to devour those issues every time they came in the mail. And each time I would flip through them and I would tear out pictures of people that I admired and I, that I admired and I would post them on my wall. <laughs> One day I was looking at my wall and I thought, hmm, none of these people that I posted up on my wall look remotely like me. And it was the same in the books that I read, the TV shows that I watched. There was just no easy place for me to find a reflection of myself and in my story. And I realized later that I internalized all of that, right? That because I didn't see a reflection of myself, I thought that perhaps my story didn't matter, my voice didn't matter. Now, fast forward many years later, and I find myself having the privilege of being able to mentor a group of really brilliant young women in West Harlem. And I remember one day before a session started, I was sitting in their lobby and I found a copy of Essence magazine. And I was flipping through this magazine and I found a letter from Michelle Obama. And everybody who knows me knows how much I love Michelle Obama. And it was a letter that she wrote specifically for young black women. And she was describing all of the barriers that she faced uh, as she was, you know, trying to rise to her potential and she was giving advice to young black women about how to overcome them and after I read the story I was incredibly inspired and also saddened at the same time and I was saddened because I remember thinking well this is really a powerful letter but who were right who was writing those letters for girls who grew up like me now fortunately, we are living in a time where there is representation and there is progress thanks to social media and channels like NBC News Asian America, but there's still some work to do. So today, I invite you to join me in sharing your stories of successes and overcoming adversity with the intention of possibly inspiring another Asian American woman to rise to her own potential. And maybe through your story, she'll receive a reflection of her own possibility. So, if you do decide to share your story, I invite you to use a hashtag for APIA Sisters. And maybe we can start a movement. But hey, even if five people do it or three people do it, I'm happy. Happy Asian American Heritage Month.